build I'm gonna be replacing the coolant bypass hoses so if you have a Miata these have probably never been replaced they probably have the same ones that it came with in the factory and you definitely want to replace these last thing you want is to be stranded on the side of the road because one of these coolant lines uh, busted open because they're old and brittle so let's go ahead and go to the car and I'll show you where they are and how to get them off so I'll go ahead and leave the part numbers in the description below. You guys can buy the hoses individually or buy them as a kit from a bunch of different sites. You can also get them brand new from Mazda. So I'll show you which ones go where. So the first hose goes from the water neck to the loader radiator hose outlet. The next one goes from uh, the water neck to the intake, uh, intake manifold. Another one goes from intake here to the oil um, oil filter plate. And lastly, there's one right here that runs along the underside of the intake. And it connects to the back of the head right there. So I'm only gonna be replacing three of them. This one I'm gonna leave for now. I'm gonna be running my uh, turbo cooling lines to here but I'll be replacing this one and the two that connect to the oil filter uh, plate. Here's the hoses out of the car. This was the one that was running to the back of the, the head. As you can see, they're super crusty. Good thing I'm replacing these because they're not really in good shape. This one is literally falling apart. And something like this could leave you stranded on the side of the road. So definitely want to replace these if you have Miata. If you have the chance, get these replaced. See, these ones aren't looking very good either. And also, these two hoses are not um, the coolant hoses for a Miata. These are just transmission lines, transmission cooler lines. So these aren't even for coolant. I'm sure they're fine, but uh, yeah, good thing I'm replacing them with some new hoses. And here's a little side-by-side. The one on the left is the OEM Mazda part, and the one on the right is the hose that was already on the car, which was a transmission oil cooler. As you can see, the, the OEM one from Mazda seems much thicker, and looks like it'll be able to handle heat a lot better. So for the clamps, I'll be using fuel line clamps. I saw a post on a few forums that said these would probably be better than using worm clamps less likely to cause damage like this from the worm clamps since they have holes in them. And I'd rather use these than the stock clamps just because they'll be easier to take off in the future and they should look a little cleaner and be easier to re-tighten if I need to. A lot of people say just to reuse the stock clamps since they'll hold the, they'll hold the hoses at a more constant torque. But personally, I don't want to use them just because they're very difficult to get on and off properly. And to me, I don't really like the way they look. So I'm just going to be using these uh, fuel line clamps. I'll leave a link in the description below.
All right, here's the new lines installed. Fresh brand new clamps. Fresh brand new clamps on there. So yeah, I feel way better about this. If you're redoing your cooling system or you plan to do any performance driving with your Miata, definitely consider replacing these hoses. You don't want these to be the reason you're stuck on the side of the road. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to keep following the build, go ahead and subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.